that is a lot of a lot of poop. A lot of poop, Mumbo. Disgusting. Good ass me. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Craft. Today everybody, I've been working on something off camera and with a lot of your help in the comments and on Twitter, I got some ideas for our banner that is going to go around the kingdom and by our banner, I mean banners because um, we're having two of them. So I want to show you what I've come up with, okay? Uh, bear in mind, before I walk into this room, it's a little bit messy. Um, I kind of went a bit OTT with the whole practicing, but I thought I'd show you the ones that I kind of came up with. So, um, yeah, like I said, I went a little bit OTT. <laughs> the ones that I haven't decided to go with are these bottom ones and that one. But the ones that I have decided to go with is... Now, pause it. Can you guess? Can you guess which ones I've decided to go for? Obviously, the, the magenta one's kind of, you know, you know what the magenta one is because there's only one magenta one on the wall. Yeah, the magenta one is this one. Of course, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. But the one for the Ice Queen is actually this one. Did you guess that one or did you guess one of the ones that has a lot of like snowflakes and stuff on it? When I was thinking about it, it was kind of snow, ice, and I feel like this is really plain and simple but i feel like this actually does the job so this is the one that i've got gone for so i need to make quite a few of these so i've now put the banners everywhere and i absolutely love them oh my god they look so cute don't they i may have gone a little bit ott um down in the entrance hall though when i say a little ott i mean a lot ott but i don't care i've never had banners before i don't think ever in a build i've never used them which is a little bit weird to say but look <gasps> oh look at those banners oh my god miss mr zombie men they just spawned right in front of me um <laughs> i have to say that's not that's not really good is it <laughs> oh dear yeah you be gone Get out of me castle. I need to light this up. Oh my god. They spawned around here, right? The only place I can find is an eight. They're not supposed to spawn in eights, right? <laughs> Alright, the problem should now be solved. We should now not have any spawnage of the monsterage. Alright, so now I'm back over at Hermit Lands because there was a couple of things that I needed to do just to get the game finished. But what I have done, as you can see, is I had to change the arena up a little bit because the horses were able to actually jump over the central bit. So I've just changed that up and now this means that people can't like deviate on the horses like over here which is really really cool there's also this thing here where um hang on these need to be closed there's a nifty redstone contraption which means i press this button here the light goes on and then the other person presses the light uh, button and the light goes on and it opens these gates but only if they're pressed kind of at the same time so that means that nobody can cheat which is absolutely amazing so a lot of you seem to love the mini game which i'm so 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 happy about and you did give me some ideas as well uh, one of the things that isn't possible unfortunately is using a sword so i need to come up with something different to use i don't really want to use a bow to be honest, but I do need to use something else. Quite a lot of you suggested tridents, which I think is an amazing idea. So I think I'm kind of leaning towards putting the tridents in this game, because obviously then it comes straight back to you kind of thing, doesn't it? With like the loyalty and stuff. That does mean though, that the gorgeous horses are probably going to suffer a little bit. I have a feeling we're gonna lose a few of them. So I wanna test these out. Find out which one is the fastest. I can't, I can't get out. I want to find out which two are the fastest, sorry. And then I'm going to breed the, them two up so that we get nice fast horses and they're not going to be any different in speed and stuff like that. So breeding has begun. I found these two horses. They seem to have, hang on, can I, can I make you grow quicker? 
They seem to have the best uh, hearts and the best speed. So I'm going to breed these two. They remove the babies from their parents. I know it's pretty harsh. And the babies are going to be the ones that um, are going to do the racing, aren't you, baby little horsey? Yes, you are. And no, I didn't just pick a blue and a pink one. I didn't do that. These were actually genuinely <laughs> the fastest and had the most hearts, I swear. Um, horsey! You may want to get down from there, love. Um, otherwise, that's going to end in murder. Um, suicide, sorry, when you get big. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. All right, let's just quickly fix this. And then Halsey should be fine. And then all the rest of the babies should be fine. Okay, nice stuff. No, I came over here to get some butch. What? There is no butch. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if there's any trees around here anywhere. Ah, birch trees! Come here, my beauties. I need to chop you down because I need your wood for something. All right, everyone. So whilst I'm breeding up the horses, I have three already over there and another little baby here, which, again, is stuck on the stupid fences. Get off! As you may remember, everyone, in the last episode, we got an offer from Sahara about buying our beautiful ice. So I thought that we could maybe go on a mission to become the richest hermit, okay? And by being the richest hermit, we probably need to take on some diamond droppage from probably the richest hermit. <laughs> but we're gonna go and see Iskall in a little while. But in the meantime, I thought we could actually take on this game here. It's called the diamond drop. Is it nearly, is it nearly bedtime? All right, it probably is, good, good. All right, everyone, so I believe I am practically ready to actually take on this jump. I just need to get an elytra, I ain't taking that one, I ain't taking that one. And five fire rockets, so let's put those on. But it does say pay here and it does say five diamonds for two jumps. <laughs> but as you can see, I kind of, um, I only have one diamond at the moment, but I will be getting some of a visco later. So, um, <clears throat> let's maybe do that and uh, yeah. Um, nobody judge, okay? I will pay him back, I swear. Pre-flight, check. Sleep in bed, check. Pay, check. Take one elytra, check. Take five rockets, check. Fly up to the airplane. Hang on, I need to get rid of me food first. Can I make it up to there with five rockets? Uh-huh. Yeah, I did. And I got one rocket to spare, I'm a pro. Right, okay, skydivers, welcome to Diamond Drop. Stand on the trap door, press button, and wait for flight. Capture as many diamonds as possible before activating your light just slash parachute. Timing of release is crucial for success. <laughs> oh, man. All right, okay. Oh, well, all right, we've got this. Ready? Go. I hear them. Oh, okay, I, I activated my light trap. Oh, no! I'm gonna go get my XP orbs though. Don't mind if I do. Num, 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 num. I can't believe I died. Damn it. I'm allowed to do one more. All right, second go. Now probably I need to do my light char. It is on, right? <laughs> I probably need to do my light char a little bit later, I'd assume. Let's go. All right, I'm falling. Diamond, diamond, no. Oh, 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 I got one. No, catch more. <laughs> do I get to keep these ones? Oh, I got I got four diamonds. <laughs> yes, I got four diamonds. I'm gonna have to put them in the chest. <gasps> no. Oh, I owe. Yeah. Well, I got to play the game. I, did, I didn't really become rich though in the process, did I? All right, well, maybe I need to do this another day when I actually have um, some diamonds to spend. I tell you what though, this is a really fun game of skill and stuff, which I, <laughs> I unfortunately don't have much of. I really enjoyed that. And this plane, oh my God, I love it when Scar builds these things. It looks so cool. All right, everyone. So I think the game is now pretty much finished. I've built this really cute thing on top. It was missing something, okay? I looked at it and I thought that it needs to be taller. So I built this little thing up here. 
And I've also finished off the walls. They're pretty plain on the side. I'll probably end up changing them at some point. I thought I'd better get this side done though because Azuma's game is here and it's not like looking at an ugly wall, is it? And I've also done it on the other side as well. So now each side should have, oh no, this only has four, oh no, five horses, oh, okay, good. This has five horses, the other side has five horses, and now we have this section, Ugh, if I can get up, up here, where I can stand, yes, me, <laughs> and watch the jousting, how cool is that? That is what this game was missing, just a little porch, a little perch thing, look, for me, this is how I'll look, looking down at the, oh, oh, that's, that's rather close. Anyway, that's how I look when I'm, I'm watching the jousters. But I have just got a message from Isco, everybody. So we are going to go and head on over to Sahara and see about our offer. Yeah, I'm finally going to get rich. Can you believe it? I take it that you found our little offer in your shop. I did, I did, I did. You're going to make me rich, finally. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, that sounds. It sounds like you've already accepted. What? I, can, can you smell Mumbo? Ugh. Oh my! He's God. had the worst stomach issues lately. Come on, let's get out of here. I, I cannot be in that room. So one hundred diamonds mm -hmm. for thirty-four stacks of blue ice. I mean, well, I well, know well, blue ice is. Hang on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we will pay a hundred diamonds for all these stacks of blue ice, thirty-one. In um, oh yeah, <clears throat> in this chest. Uh, I think I made. I think I may have calculated that wrongly, but okay, thirty-one stacks boobos? of blue ice. I think I did. Yeah, people were telling me I did. Wow, you're very close <laughs> up there. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thirty-one stacks of blue ice for a hundred diamonds. Are you taking the deal? Yes, I am. I'm skin, all right? I need diamonds. I have one diamond <laughs> left. One. And that yeah, is it. Yeah, I know what it's like. I yeah, know what and, it's like. And nobody seems to be buying my ice from my shop. So, of course, I'm going to sell the beautiful ice so that it spreads around the world into everybody's inventories. That's awesome. <laughs> I will have to head to the vault to pick up the goods. The goods? And you can... All right. Yeah. All right. I'll wait yep. here then. Um, yes. Like a, like a loner. Yes. All right. I will just open this super secure security vault door of doom. So I know where the, the I know where they are now. I see you. Yeah, but you can never get through this special lock. <laughs> it's a very right. very important sequence. All right. I have got the goods. <laughs> I have got the goods from our super secure vault of doom. Yay! <laughs> All right, I've also got the goods, um, but because I'm such a gorgeous person, okay, and like I said, I want to spread the ice all over the world, and um, Sahara's actually going to do that for me, which, you know, it's, it's nice. It's very nice. I'm actually going to give you two shulker boxes. Oh, my goodness. Um, <clears throat> can what I, in can the I, world? Can I have the shulker boxes back, though, please? Because like I said, I'm, I'm you know... I Pretty skin. I will and, uh, hold on. <laughs> I I shall, I shall deliver the payment in Sahara boxes instead. Yeah. Wait, I have to do some uh, some right. quick maths. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten blocks of diamonds is ninety diamonds. Right. Ninety nine diamonds, Nin and then yep. one. And then right, one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh. That is one hundred diamonds. Is it? Oh. Yeah. I'm, <clears throat> it doesn't feel it doesn't feel so I'm good, just, does it? But if you break the blocks, <laughs> it looks a lot more. <laughs> I don't even care, all right. Literally, I had I did just have one diamond to my name. I mean, this is so generous. I know. I feel really good about going to the Ice Queen and utilizing our partnership. Two stacks, no, two <laughs> boxes of shulker boxes. That's like of five million stacks of blue ice. Of blue ice as well. Yeah. The generosity yes. is real right now. <laughs> One blue ice, I don't know if I'm going to scare you now, but oh. one blue ice equals 81 regular ice. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I did not know that here. maths at all. Well, thank you very much for this uh, very, very generous counter offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't even, we didn't even bargain or any, uh, here, I... <gasps> here, take some tip. Yay! Have some tip. Thank you. <laughs> get out of get out of my building. Oh, get I out flew. of my office. Did you see that? I flew away. <laughs> I, I saw I'm all it. majestical. Yeah, I, saw it. I gotta go change Mumbo now. Uh, <laughs> 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 
that is a lot of a lot of poop. A lot of poop mumbo. Disgusting. Good ass me. So everybody now check this out. We are um half rich. Only half rich, but look at that. I now have some diamonds to spend. I'm so, so, so happy about that. Oh my God, it was well needed, I tell ya. I think I now have the rules kind of sorted. Let's have a quick look at what it says. So I have, welcome to the Ice Queen's jousting event. One, put all your items in the chest provided. Two, put the colored armor on and take the trident. Obviously, um, we still need to get the tridents, but we'll leave that for maybe next episode. Three, pay 10 diamonds in the chest at the entrance. Four, choose one of the horses provided and equip it with the armor and a saddle. Five, starting on the right hand side of the arena, push the button on the left log at the same time as the other side to open the gates. Ride forward and the game has begun. The aim of the game is to kill your opponent. No regen is allowed to no eating. Keep riding up and down until one player is dead. Don't forget to sleep in the bed. Nine, the winner will get a reward of 15 diamonds. If you won, push the button above the chest at the entrance of the game to collect your reward. May the best hermit win. I should probably also say that you need to choose a side. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, hopefully choose a color, put all your items in the chest provided. All right, so now for the blue side, I've written blue side is opposite and diagonal to the magenta side. So <laughs> I know it's confusing, opposite and diagonal. So that's where that is. Also, my friend, please keep all gates closed because obviously there's a redstone element to this. Only works if the gates are actually closed. And finally, I'm going to put the instructions in the chest. Absolutely gorgeous. And finally, the blue ones as well. But I think this game is now actually finished minus the tridents. But I will sort those out for next episode so that it's actually ready. But look at that. I am so happy with it. And I have to say thank you for the suggestions of doing dark oak wood and birch. I think that looks absolutely incredible. It would be cool if we got some villagers or something in these bits as well. <laughs> that could actually be quite funny. Don't know if there's any of the villagers actually uh, left over at Hermitville though. But anyway, everyone, I think I'm going to call it there for today. The game is finally finished, minus the tridents. But anyway, <laughs> look at it, it looks so good. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode, everyone. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And yeah, that's the payment chest there. <laughs> if you really enjoyed it, then please hit the subscribe button. So everyone, I will see you all next time. Bye.